In this video, we are continuing onwards on our Pico CTF 2022 Capture the Flag saga. Uh, in the last video, we just finished up some inspecting HTML, pretty basic, pretty fundamental, but now we're moving on to something new in the web exploitation category. So I'll hop over to my screen here and let's dive right in. We are finally on the second page of the Pico CTF platform here. The couple challenges we've been cruising through. I guess that makes 13 now that we've completed. So let's open up this challenge called Local Authority, another web exploitation category. It's just probably going to be some simple inspecting, as we could tell by the tags on this challenge here. Description is simple. Hey, can you get the flag? Go to this website and see what you can discover. Okay, so we have a secure customer portal, allegedly. It says only letters and numbers are allowed for username and password. Okay, uh, so obviously... The username is please subscribe. Password is anything, and we can go ahead and try and log in. But that tells us login failed, and last pass is here to save the day. No, thank you. Uh, let's go back. I hit the alt left arrow key on my keyboard to move back in the web browser pages here. Now, again, I, I've been kind of alluding to the fact we should repeatedly view the page source to see what the HTML or that hypertext markup language is actually going to end up building and structuring this web page for us as our web page renders it out. So if I right click and click on that view page source I, or, or button here or drop down menu, whatever you want to call it, and, or of course you could hit that control U keyboard hotkey. Viewing this, we can see, ooh, all right, here's all of the structure of the code, and there is a style.css, just a simple cascading style sheet that is loaded in. Nothing really interesting in here, just a background color of light blue. I'll hit back one more time. Oh, I think that opened up a new tab, actually. So I'll hit Control-W to close that tab, bring me back to where I was just a moment ago. Uh, only letters and numbers are allowed for that username and password, and we end up posting to a login.php. Um, okay. I'm going to assume login.php. PHP, of course, is a server-side application. PHP is server-side code that runs as a preprocessor hypertext process. I'm totally getting that acronym wrong, but it means that we can't see what's happening because it's over on the server side, not on the client side. However, given that this challenge is named a hey, local authority and it's asking us to log in, I'm trying to think the way that websites, whether you're on Amazon, whether you're on eBay, I don't know, whether you're on Facebook, the way that it'll keep track of you as a logged in user is it'll carry a specific token or kind of a special key that says you are who you are. You are able to authenticate. And now that we trust you and believe you, you are this person you authenticated as. Wear the name tag, wear the badge that says, hey, my name is John or whatever my user account is. What that is, what that badge is, what that kind of key or token you carry around is a cookie or an HTTP cookie. So I'm just going off a hunch here. Part of me wonders if we are in fact looking at a cookie in this. Uh, if you haven't explored, hey, digging into HTTP cookies, it is something that you will receive client side, right, to carry around as you navigate to the page set by the server. You can view these, right, if you actually maybe were to click around in the developer tools. Um, I ended up just hitting F12 on my keyboard. I think actually there's another hotkey, uh, control I that'll open it. Control Shift I, okay, Control Shift I worked just fine for me in Google Chrome. And if you wanted to, you could actually navigate over in these tabs at the top here to application, right? So application will change the view that you're seeing here. And one of these on the left-hand pane is simply cookies. So I just want to expand this. And it looks like there is a cookie set for this web page that we're on, saturn.picoctf.net. Or, okay, maybe there might be cookies here. Part of me wonders if there will maybe eventually ever be a cookie that could be set. This is just a hunch. I could totally be wrong. In all reality, I, I'm not quite sure. Um, I'm using a web browser extension here, cookie editor. Yeah, cookie editor extension or cookie manager, any of the two. Any of them honestly just allow you to look at cookies for a web browser um, rather than digging through the developer console if you don't want to. That's one thing that I'm curious about. Um, local local authority but it's not setting a cookie seemingly it's asking me to just use the inspector oh oh if we are just using the inspector maybe there is some 
JavaScript code ran somewhere. So here, I right-clicked again and actually use inspect, and that will open the developer tools as we would have just done with F12 or Control-Shift-I. Is there going to be something else interesting on this page here? No. Ooh. Wait, what is this? What is, is this background image coming from LastPass? Is that what that is? Style background has an image. Password has an image. Why was this not displayed? Am I in the weeds here? Am I going down a crazy, stupid rabbit hole? I might be. Because these look like very, very similar values for the username or the password. I have to think this is just LastPass throwing its display on here. It's an image... So um, let me let me verify that super duper quick. I'm just gonna echo all of this disgusting garbage into base64 minus D to decode it. And that'll give us uh, a temporary, I'll throw this in my temp, just an image.png. I realized my face was in the way there. Uh, so just for my sake, bear with me. Okay, yeah, that is just simply, oh, the dumb last pass icon to fill in whether or not I know the thing. Okay, so inspecting it wasn't a whole lot there. LP checked. Is that something? No, that, that must be LastPass again. Underscore LP makes me think of LastPass. Uh, well, we didn't look at the page when we tried to log in with like, uh, maybe we could use admin admin. How about that? Login failed. LastPass to our rescue again. But if I inspect this page, does it tell us anything new? Login. Ooh, 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 do you see this? Okay, so there is a admin form hash or in, in, in a form that's hidden to bring us to the admin.php page. So <laughs> all of my lecture on HTTP cookies were totally not worth it. Forgive me, I guess maybe we'll see that in another challenge, maybe. <laughs> so if we have JavaScript code here that's present, uh we could actually make sense of all that this is actually running and using for us. Hey, uh, let's take a better look at this. If you navigate over to the sources tab, uh, sources will allow us to actually go ahead and see what might be loaded just like here. Mm, like JavaScript or CSS or PHP files that we won't be able to retrieve. But there's an interesting one here, uh, secure.js. <laughs> and... It looks like it's using this check password function, determining if we are admin or the password is equal to strong password with numbers at the very, very end. Now, if I were to view the page source, would I have seen that? I mean, we see all of this based off of the filter function name, and we were just looking at that a moment ago, but this is all just checking based off the filter. Only letters and numbers are allowed to be entered in here. We gave it the values admin admin for username and password, um, but ultimately it ends up running this check password function. So if the username filter passed and the password filter passed after running this filter function, which is itself, but okay, no, it's closed here. This ending curly brace denotes, hey, that's the very end of that function, but the rest of this JavaScript script might still continue onward. So if we are logged in, we can get an element by message ID setting, oh, login is successful, and we have an admin form hash, which is a hash here. Anyway, anyway, I've been beating around the bush, right? Obviously, we saw that check for the check password included in the secure.js page. This told us admin and strong password. Maybe that's all we need. I right-click and copy this so that I can go back to this login page. I'll navigate back on my keyboard, enter admin as the username and paste in that password. There we go. We got to log in and then it ended up spitting out this flag for us. I'm assuming this says JS, J5, hey, it's lead speak. JavaScript is transparent mm, and that we can read it on the client side. Kind of neat, kind of cool. Um, sure, it was, it was one thing to get that. Part of me wants to, could I, could I honestly have just navigated over to admin.php? Like without logging in, if I went straight to admin.php, no, not authorized. And the reason that that happens is if you kind of think back to, oh, the code that we were just looking at over on the view page source of login.php, it is 
hosting to admin.php. So when we're making a request, like an HTTP request out to a web server, we're doing a couple maybe different things. These are the HTTP methods that you might send to a server. You could send a get request and that, hey, you want to retrieve data, you want to get it, and that can pass in specific parameters or values like variables and arguments that you give to the page you're trying to retrieve. And the server side code, PHP, again, will handle that and retrieve data per those arguments. Post is another HTTP method, as we are clearly seeing right here, a method is post, and that will do something different in that you are trying to give it data, not just retrieve data, not just get, right? Posting the page. That will allow it to process things in a different way, depending on how the code or the application is written. And in this case, when we were to try and get the page, it wasn't gonna process it, it wasn't gonna let us in, which is why it said not authorized a moment ago. With that said, if the admin form hash is kind of denoted there, does it set a value in this hash? Uh, it, I, I kind of want to know what this is, just because I'm curious here. Or we go ahead and submit something, and maybe that's denoting, telling us, oh, admin.php will retrieve and render the flag for us. We could probably see that happen. Let's do that. So I had um, the hash in my clipboard. So before I try and watch the traffic here, let me actually go see if I can crack that hash. I'll use something, a simple online tool like CrackStation. Let's see if it knows what this might be. And by the way, sorry, I didn't mean to just kind of steamroll over this. If you aren't familiar with what a hash is, again, trying to be super fundamental for the folks that might not have seen these videos before. A hash is like a one-way function to bundle up a ton of data into a singular fingerprint or signature or capturing the identity of some data, whether or not it's the word hello, whether or not it's a whole picture or a song or video file, getting the hash of it is meant to get a as unique as humanly possible, like, hey, there could be some hash collisions, but it's a one-way function to boil it all down into this string of text here. And that string of text is, of course, hexadecimal, as you'd note here. And based on the length, you might be able to determine, oh, what sort of hash is it? What hashing algorithm was used? Whether it was MD5 or SHA-1 or SHA-256, et cetera, et cetera. We don't need to get too nerdy on that right now. Uh, looks like it didn't know what the hash was. The reason that we have to do a, like, check because as I mentioned, it's a one-way function to get a hash. Something has to know what the hash is. It can't reverse and work backwards from just a single hash value. So that's why we use CrackStation to see, hey, did you happen to know this in your own database and lookup table, etc. Okay, so cool, that, that satisfied my curiosity for a moment. I know we have the flag, but I want to just explore a little bit more to see, hey, I saw it like jitter. I saw it do something weird when the page loaded to give us the flag. So let me navigate with the developer tools pane open. Let me go to the network tab. And I wanna be able to see, okay, if I refresh the page, boom. You can see the HTTP requests being made out to different files that are being served by this web server. We made a get request to retrieve this home page here. And when I end up entering in admin and password, I'll enter that and ooh, you saw a whole lot of stuff come through probably from the actual uh, last pass shenanigans. So maybe let's clean that one more time. Uh, I'm going to set the uh, preserve log option on and I'm gonna filter for things only from Saturn PicoCTF.net. So we know this exact page. I'll try it again, admin, password, log in. And okay, it's not going to show me anything new because it's probably going to other endpoints. So uh, that was stupid of me. <laughs> How about fex, uh, fetch and XHR ones? Let's go back, clear the log with this clear button. And again, I'm, I'm probably just doing silly stuff that's not necessary. But ah, no, they're doing their own thing. Let's try and just keep the filter off and we'll see if we do anything else. One last time. I'm sorry, bear with me. Slap all this in. Log in. Okay, let's scroll through this. You saw our post request to login.php. Yep. And we ended up including the parameters admin and strong password that we just saw. But following that, scrolling down on the rest of the traffic that was sent here, we got 
and retrieved the secure.js file, the JavaScript file, and then we saw that admin.php was posted to. Probably, hey, it automatically submitted that form. That sent the hash that we had previously, probably just you know telling us that we were in fact logged in properly, and then it will return the response that is just the flag. So part of me wonders, do all we have to do, is all we have to do just post to the page with this hash value rather than quote unquote logging in? Again, it's all JavaScript that it was just doing that, but it did get sent to login.php in a post request. But there's like, there were two steps to that authentication, which is weird to me. Um, so let me nerd out and see if I could use something like curl. We've used curl before to get pages here, but I, I wanna see if I can now post as that HTTP method with curl. We can do that with tat capital X to specify a method. We know that post is the method that we wanna use. And then let's use the URL that would follow, but we know we're gonna end up passing some data, like the parameters and arguments and the values that were sent. And we saw that here, hey, checking out the payload when we submitted to login.php or the payload when we submitted to admin.php. It's at a hash equal to this value. So I'm gonna try and set hash equal to that value, yeah? And now we need that URL. We need to course post to admin.php. Will this just straight up return the flag for us without logging in and that I'm just doing this with curl? It does, super duper cool. <laughs> Maybe we beat that challenge to death more than we really needed to, uh, but that means we can now create a nice and super stupid kind of easy local authority get flag script. Hey, we're just using our curl tech x, and then we're going to use our grep one more time to retrieve only with regular expressions extended pico ctf as the flag format with data inside of our curly braces. Uh, I keep using a question mark here after my asterisk to make that search and match with regular expressions lazy. That means, hey, if there happened to be a, another closing curly brace at the end, I'm not going to reach all the way to the end of it. I'm just going to get the first closing curly brace. So that way we know we got the end of the flag and not any extra data. That's regular expressions that we don't need to dig into, but hey, maybe some quick learning to make our lives easier. We'll turn color to off with none. And there we have our flag retrieved. And of course we can set curl to silent so we don't get all this weird status output. Silent with tack S there. There's our flag. We can then go ahead and save that. And now we know what the flag is. We have our get flag script and we can say finish to mark that challenge as complete. But we should probably go ahead and submit this flag. So I'm gonna copy it, move over to my uh, web browser one more time, close out of all these tabs and submit this flag. Donezo, 100 points and we are cruising through another one done. Hope you're having some fun with this everybody. I hope that there has been some nuggets, some value that you've got out of this. I realize, hey, some of these are fundamental, but maybe you're still learning some other things. When I get to sprinkle in other extracurricular investigative <laughs> detective work. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please do all those YouTube algorithm things. You know, I would love it if you could like the video, comment, subscribe, anything that helps the channel grow. That's what I'm all about. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody. I love you. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.